What is going on you guys? I am finally back with another story time video. And this one, despite what you might think from the thumbnail, this actually has a happy ending. I'm going to tell you the story about the first time I was bullied. Okay, so back when I was living in Texas, during, during my fourth grade year, the first one because I was left back. Okay, so the kid's name was Garrett. It was right around the time that the show Avatar The Last Airbender was pretty much at the height of its popularity. Everyone was obsessed with it, including my sister. Now, I'll admit, I wasn't a fan of the show at that time. <laughs> Zip it. Let me explain. It's because anytime the show was on, my sister was so mean back then, she would force me to watch it with her. And here's the thing. Anytime the show came on, I would start hy hyperventilating because I just knew that she was going to grab me, yank me away from what I was doing so that I could watch Avatar with her. Now, granted, I did like a few episodes, like... Like when they finally get to the North Pole. I love those episodes, when they're at the North Pole. But there are also ep episodes that I didn't like. Like, when they introduced Jet. Or any episode when Katara is yelling at Aang. Or any episode when Sokka is being a douchebag towards Aang. And so, and so because I was forced to watch it with my sister, I tended to not like it. But for some reason, Garrett found this out and started calling, calling me and would literally do this, Avatar, every single time he saw me. And his friends ended up doing it. And it got on my nerves to the point where you might be thinking like, oh, he's just messing with you. Considering that no matter how many times I told him to stop, he just kept doing it. And he had other people doing it. Yeah, that's not just messing around. That's straight up bullying. Now granted, none of them ever hit me or anything. They just made fun of me. It's still bullying. Now, it, this all came to a head for the second half of the year. It was after gym and right before lunch and we were in the bathroom and I was washing my hands and then one of Garrett's friends came in and Garrett came in and quite a few of his, his friends that were bullying me came in. I've had it with, I've had it with these people. I've had it with these guys. So, we sort of got in a fight. We got in a fight, and I, when I say fight, I mean like, the most we ever did was just like, run up to each other and just push each other against the wall. There were no punches. There was some pushing, obviously. It was me up against five other guys, and I won. In fact, I even took a break, came out, took a sip of water from the water fountain, went back in and said, you want some more? And I won the fight. And there weren't any bruises on any of the other guys or anything, but I could tell that they were tired. Back then, back then the rules were, if you got tired and basically threw in the towel, your opponent would win. Now, obviously there were some repercussions. Because I was called into the principal's office with those guys. And I pretty much told him, 
why the fight even started. And I was just like, I wasn't going to sit there and take it anymore. And so the principal, Mr. Clemens, said, just pointed to us and say, don't let it happen again. Off you go. We went off to lunch. From that moment for, from that moment onward, Garrett was the only person that ever called me Avatar. None of his friends ever messed with me again. But that wasn't what I was worried about. I was worried about Mr. Clemens calling my parents. They got home, they asked me how school was, I said, it was good. And for the next few days throughout the week, They didn't, they didn't bring it up. They, and for like the rest of that year, I was like worried, like if the school called the house or if anyone called the house, it, one of my parents would pick it up and, and be like, he did what? But it never happened. They never found out. Once I moved away, I never saw Garrett again. And I dealt with real bullies after that. But, moral of the story, the best way to deal with a bully is to stand up to them. Now, I'm not saying like beat their ass. I'm not saying like, I'm not saying any of that. I'm just saying, if you stand up to the bully, if you stay on your ground, they'll be like, okay, this this kid's got balls, I'll leave him alone. So yeah. And of course, I've done a story time video explaining how I dealt with bullies here in North Carolina. Thanks for stopping by, everyone. Until next time, stay positive and stay awesome. See ya.